for anybody that isn't familiar with selling bundles and such like that, let's start off with, you know, what typically people have been doing and uh, go into what they've been doing particularly wrong and how they can fix it. Yeah. So a bundle on Amazon is essentially when you take multiple products and you put them together under one Mm -hmm. ASIN. They have fairly specific rules about how to decide what category the bundle goes in and how to decide what the brand name for the bundle should be. Uh, And what people have been doing rather than following those rules is often brand bundling major brands together and then listing it under their own brand Mm -hmm or including a very small item of their own brand in the bundle, and then bundling the entire bundle under their own brand. Um, and, and so Amazon has started suspending accounts for doing that. Yeah, and, and that's something, uh, I mean, I've, I'm guilty of, of doing it for sure. It's been a thing for a long time. And I, I think overall, something that's been very beneficial to Amazon customers to be able to get those bundles. So what what do you think... Has Amazon always had the exact same policy regarding bundles? And why do you think they're starting to enforce it only now? Yeah, they have always had this policy. I I think, one, they're probably getting flack from major brands because Mm -hmm. it is usually major brands that we see being bundled under somebody else's brand, usually not a big brand, uh, usually just a brand that was created to make bundles on Amazon. Um, And so I think they're getting a lot of pushback from a lot of these major brands. And I also think that they are at a point now where it probably isn't great for their customers that there are all of these misbranded products being sold on their website because it is somewhat misleading um, and people don't necessarily understand what it is that they're buying. Yeah, for for sure. And I haven't had any problems with any of my bundles. And that's probably because uh, all the brands that I use, if I named them now, probably 99% of the people listening have never heard of them. So mm-hmm. I work with a smaller brands. They A lot of them sell very well, um, but they're definitely not household brands. But you're seeing a majority of them are with big household brands that most people would know. Yeah, and we're also seeing the majority of the account suspensions are accounts that are creating large amounts of these bundles. Mm. Um, So it's usually not just they have one or two of these listings and then a bunch of other different kinds of listings. It's usually a large percentage of their catalog or a large number of incorrect bundles within their catalog. And to be clear, like you can make correct bundles Mm -hmm. as as long as you follow their policy in terms of what the brand of the bundle is and and what category it goes in. Yeah. So and that seems to be the key thing, right? If if you have branded products in your package, then whatever the most expensive product is, that needs to be the brand of the bundle, correct? Uh, Yeah. And that also dictates the category of the bundle. And the category. Yeah. So, so yeah, the most expensive is what the most expensive item is what Amazon calls the main item in the bundle. And so, so that dictates the brand and, and the category. And I think the reason why a lot of sellers aren't using the, the major brand as the brand is because they usually don't have authorization from the brand. Exactly, and so then yeah. they can't provide the branded UPC code that would allow them to create that bundle.